Proudly representing Sydney, Australia, he was born in New Zealand, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. He has put together one of the greatest winning streaks in the history of this middleweight division and did to Yoel Romero what few men have been able to do. Few men can stand across from Romero and just even live to tell the stories right. of fighting him in the octagon. Robert Whitaker has done that twice and gotten his hand raised in the rematch. Whitaker is a truly, truly phenomenal mixed martial artist has a traditional background, but he also has a wrestling knowledge that is very underrated. He does not just get taken down. He's able to get back to his feet very well, and he has cardio for days. He's truly one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. And he's a grappler at his core. We talk oh, yeah. so much about his boxing, but the guys at Gracie Jiu-Jitsu at Smeaton Grange will tell you this guy started as a grappler, still grapples in the gi during training camp. Robert Whitaker back in, ideally, in a big way for him here tonight. Well, we have seen a lot of fighters expeditiously rise to mixed martial arts superstardom. But how about Alex Pereira? Crosses over into mixed martial arts from kickboxing and essentially takes the sport by storm? By storm, John. I mean, so fast to go from a guy that was what can be to the champion. But when you possess this level of skill, when your kickboxing is second to none, and then you train with Glover and you develop wrestling defense, you know that you have a chance. Pajeda not only had a chance, he took it all the way to the title. And tonight, he looks to get another victory. He's seemingly a perfect mix of intensity and composure. He has heart, championship medal, Alex Pajeda, the total package. We're certainly glad he's here in the UFC. Our tale of the date for this welterweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> for him against guys like Adesanya and Alex Pereira begins with the size, gonna have to find a way in. Yeah, because he's a guy that at one point competed at 170. Adesanya and Pereira could never make 170 pounds. But I think that speaks to the warrior spirit of Robert Whitaker. Look at the success that he has had in the weight class that he really was too small for for a long period of his career. But this guy has true skills in every area of mixed martial arts and they will be tested tonight against the former glory double champion, Alex Pereira. All right, early round action. 
position here, and Whitaker wasted no time finding a home for that high kick. Well, it's one of his great shots, right? He does a good job of setting up, making you rotate into the side that he wants to throw. He throws that beautiful high kick. He has done that since he was on the Ultimate Fighter Smashes. Just over three minutes now to go. Massive head kick! Execution to land the roundhouse. Oh, nice. Oh, Whitaker closes the distance here, DC. Let's see if he can capitalize. Good kick. Oh, that is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Stunning jump driving out there. We'll see if he can recover. Nice technique on the sidekick. Whitaker shot is blocked. Oh! Oh, no. Well, he rocked him, but couldn't finish him. He rocked him. He hurt him bad. He couldn't find that one shot to close the door. Could not shut the lights off. And now, he passed. He's trying to find that shot again. Drops down inside the now closed guard of his opponent. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a sufficient or big ground opponent. He's going after the head. Strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he will try to take down that big. Oh, so there's the horn signal at the end of the round. Thankfully for him, that'll keep him in the fight. Knocked down near the end of the round. Saved by the bell, ladies and gentlemen. Respira, respira, respira. Aí, como água. Você tá bem? Você tá bem, ok? This is happening. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. Really good emphasis on that kick there. Oh, you gotta love the leg kicks, and there it is. Well, as my favorite rap group Onyx would say, stick and move, right? Huh. Beautiful slip off the center line there. Yeah, what a great job of moving his head. It doesn't take much. Grips the body there. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenues to land those shots. Spinning back fist. But his nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, setting up the left hook. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. And just misses with that big right hand. Just over two minutes now to go on the round. Good work, guys. Whitaker's thigh and the outside of it really struck. Nice and really bad. Punch out. Right 
Champ. Yep. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Pudey. All right, so look at that. A cut has been opened around that eye area. He's taking shots over and over again to that area, and now he's dealing with a cut. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Whitaker. Oh, crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Starts bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. All right, so he gets back to his feet after that extended battle on the ground, and the crowd is loving it. The crowd's going crazy because they appreciate high-level mixed martial arts, and that's exactly what you just got. Round three next. All right, so another round is in the books, and another great round for him there. Another knockdown, perhaps looking at a 10-8. Certainly a dominant five minutes for him. Great round from Whitaker. But it's all right. I want you to use all right, so a huge round for him there. That head kick probably would have had me out for good. The guy survives to see another round. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh! Big, big strikes continue to land. He's postured, landing huge ground ball. The guy has to move what a fight's gonna get finished. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Well, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Excellent ground and pound there by Whitaker. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You got to think he's going to continue to attack the body with all of his strengths. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing it. Oh! Now he's back up. the number one play on Sports Center tonight. I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Bruce. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 26 seconds of round number 3. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Robert the Reaper Whitaker. Well, he was Australia's first UFC champion, and Robert Whitaker may just be getting going, folks. He has been an absolute force of destruction since moving back up to middleweight, and it is going to take, in all likelihood, a huge effort to not...